a capacitor, one microfarad capacitor and its IU relationships. Uh, for the given waveform of the voltage, how can we find a waveform of current at first and then for the waveform of current, uh, how can we find the waveform of voltage? So, uh, we have here relationships, IU relationships for a capacitor, a current is a differential of uh, voltage multiplied by circuit constant C and voltage is integral of current divided by same constant plus initial condition condition at T sub 1. Now uh, general uh, considerations uh, on top we have uh, function ft and bottom is gt and gt is uh, a differential of ft so the time derivative can be interpreted as the rate of change of the value of the function and found using the increment method so this is an increment method uh, mm, differentiated function f uh, it is a ratio of two increments increment of function values f2 minus f1 divided by the increment of time and this is a constant for piecewise linear function ft so if we have a slope positive then we have a positive value constant value after differentiation if we have a negative slope then we have a negative value here a constant in this period of time and if our slope is zero, if function is constant for the given period of time, then after differentiation, we have simply zero. Okay, we may return to our exemplary problem. So this is our voltage at first. So slope of the first segment is two volt per second. So after uh, differentiation, if we multiply it by one, we will obtain two up till one second between one and three voltage is constant which means that current is zero between three and eight uh, increment of voltage is minus five increment of time is five then minus five divided by five is minus one up till eight and from eight well, to infinity we have again a constant value of voltage which means current is zero that way we have uh, converted um, a voltage waveform to current wave now the opposite operation for the given current our task is to find a voltage uh, we have this waveform of current so now we are looking for a voltage a voltage is integral of current is integral of current like expressed here by this formula so to find mm, uh, voltage at the given pe uh, period of time we have to find the integral uh, and uh, for our exemplary problem at first we have a positive constant value which means uh, we have a voltage uh, which has uh, this slope 2 volt per second um, uh, time constant is 1 between 1 and 2 we have a slope of minus 1 and between 2 and infinity we have initial condition only um, and this initial condition is 1 so we have obtained this waveform as shown below for the time instant of three we have a value of one one volt okay now let us assume that our task is to calculation of the maximum energy stored in the capacitor so if uh, we want to find energy stored in capacitor we have to find we have to recall the formula this is the formula um, so energy stored in capacitor is proportional to the square of instantaneous value of voltage so we have to find a voltage waveform at first we have already found this voltage waveform as 
we have here at the left um, and um, then uh, from this formula it is clear that the maximum value for the given waveform is maximum value of energy is at this um, time instant where uh, voltage uh, has its maximum which is here for one second uh, voltage has a maximum of two volt which gives two watt second the maximum energy stored in the capacitor now let us assume that the initial stored energy is not zero let us assume that this energy is 0 0.5 joule what it means that we have some voltage initially uh, across the capacitor and from this formula we may find that it can be either plus or minus one volt so as you can see for this problem we have two possible solutions at the left we may assume that this is plus one if so we have to shift up by one volt the waveform that we have had before at the right side we have to shift down this waveform by mm, uh, one uh, volt to obtain the waveform which is uh, presented here so as you can see um, when transforming from current to voltage we have to um, integrate when transforming from voltage to current we have to differentiate uh, waveforms for a capacitor that way we have completed this exemplary problem